Hey everybody, it's Mike the Reptile Guy here again. Um, we're doing something non-reptile related today. Uh, this is my experiment. I'm not really a big tarantula person, uh, but I have a big female salmon pink bird-eating spider, and I got a, I recently got a male salmon pink bird-eating spider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together and see if we can get them to do their little mating thing, and uh, maybe in a few months she'll lay an egg sac and we'll get some baby tarantulas. We'll see what happens. Um, now what happened is the male um, you can see this is the male here. Males are usually smaller than females with tarantulas. Um, now he made a sperm web. Okay, now the sperm web is basically he, he makes a web, lays upside down uh, underneath it, and then rubs his, well, his abdomen on the sperm web. And he's actually depositing sperm onto the web when he's rubbing his abdomen. Then what he does is he takes his pedipalps, which is the little, you can see the little kind of leg looking like things in the front there and he actually absorbs the sperm onto the tips of those all right now what we're going to do is we're going to put him in with her the female there and i took a bunch of stuff out of her enclosure here just to make it easier to see um and we're going to put him in with her and they actually have hooks on their front legs all right the males have hooks on the front legs and those hooks are actually used to hold the female's fangs back because she's going to want to kill him when he goes in with her all right so we're going to put her in there or put him in there and um Hopefully everything will go well. Now I've got the little um, top stick here. This isn't because he's an aggressive spider. I can handle him no problem. But what happens, um, he uses his, his hooks to hold the fangs back because a female wants to kill him, all right? And when he's done mating with her, then you know I have to get him out of there fast and use this to separate them because if not, there's a good chance she will kill him, all right? It's just what happens in the spider world. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take him out. Now, I'm hoping this goes fast. I Sometimes it takes a while from what I've heard, but most most of the time it goes pretty quick. So we're going to put him on the opposite end of the tank. We're actually putting him on the, the side where she just recently molted. Okay, now she, he's in. All right, now we just got to wait and, and see what happens. Now I've heard that um, the males will go up and kind of tap their legs on the ground and the females re might reciprocate and tap their legs too. Um, or in this case, absolutely nothing is going to happen. Something to happen. Nothing. Well, I'll take, I'll take this time to uh, show you some pictures of the male when he was actually in his sperm web. Okay, now I've seen on some videos they will actually coax them together, so I'm just going to I'm going to touch him a little bit and see if I get him to... Yeah, see, he's already moving differently than he normally would in his enclosure, so... Now let's try to get her... Come on, Gretchen. This is my female Gretchen. Come on. Look, I got you a boyfriend. There, okay, so now... Now he sees her. Now he knows she's there. That was that turnaround, but she doesn't know he's there, and I'd really like her to just back up a little bit. Okay, now we have visual contact, I think. Just give him a little nudge here and see what he does. Okay. Yeah, you can see he's kind of, he's bouncing a little bit. I've heard this is one of the steps. Not really doing it too much now. Move her a little bit closer. Basically, this is me being impatient. <laughs> Come on. She really wants nothing to do with him right now. You can definitely see the twitching. Oh, now she's gonna run and hide. All right, so we're getting some action now. Now what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to irritate her with his front legs and try to get her to rear up. 
And then once she's reared up, he's going to use his um, little hooks to grab the fangs. Hopefully this will happen. Yeah, see? Oh, now she's starting to rear up. Can you get it from over here? Maybe. There we go. Yeah, now she's starting to get angry. Now, see. All right, so he's he's using the hooks now. He's using the hooks to hold the fangs back. And then if you look underneath, he's using his little pedipalps to deposit the sperm on her. Oh, there you go. There's a good shot there. And she is really wanting to kill him right now, but he is doing his job. And I've got to get ready to get in there. I think he's done. Hold on, let me tell you. Let's I think go. he's pretty much done his job now. Nobody's going to try anymore. I'm right here, just waiting for him to let go. Yeah, I think that's it. I think he's done. Let him let go on his own. Oh, he's going in again. He's not actually doing anything though, he's just kind of holding there. Oh, there, now he's doing it again. Yeah, he's really rubbing again. Oh, there we go, there we go. And then I get in and see how he tries to get away. There we go. <laughs> they don't want to waste any time staying in there. Because they know what, uh, what the female really wants to do with him. So yeah, so now what we do is... Uh, we wait and see what happens. There we go. So I'll see if I can show you on here the, the little hooks he was using. That you can see under there. It's hard to whoop, don't fall. Basically, if you'll stop moving for a second, these there's little hooks right there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Little hooks right there. Those are what he uses to hold the fangs in. And these are his little petty palps. The very these here. And those are what he uses to actually he he holds the sperm on the tips of these and then he uses those to deposit them onto the, the females what we would call genitals. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted on what happens with uh, these guys here. There we go. Good luck.